Turning now to the total solar eclipse only 11 days away. Western New Yorkers will get a once in a lifetime look at history as our region falls in the path of totality. Yeah, we've been waiting for this for a long time, but there are some communities here that will have what's considered the best view possible. 7 News reporter Michael Schwartz explaining why. Hey Jeff, hey Leah. So the path of totality is 115 miles wide, but within that path is a specific route of the eclipse called the center line, and it's expected to run right through where I'm standing here on Shady Side Lane in Lancaster. What it means is while many parts of western New York will be in the path of totality, the closer you are to this center line, the longer you'll experience the eclipse. We're talking uh, seconds, sometimes uh, up to tens of seconds, depending on where you are. Dr. Holly Schreiber, chief scientist at the Buffalo Museum of Science, explains that the center line is the center of the moon's shadow that will dim our afternoon lights for about three minutes on April 8th. So if you're roughly within the middle, near the center line, you are going to have a longer uh, time for totality. If you get near those edges of the shadow and near the edges of the path of totality, it's going to be shorter. Dr. Schreiber says as the eclipse moves from Texas to Buffalo, the moon's shadow elongates because of Earth's rotation. Yet that center line keeps a steady path going right over homes in Lancaster. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Jean Armstrong didn't realize until we spoke that she lives just about right on the center line. Just hope that it's sunny. It's exciting. Paul Hoffman is also on the center line. Oh my God, don't put the address on. <laughs> it's a lot of hype. Um, but, you know, it's a once in a lifetime thing. The Buffalo Museum of Science reminds you to keep your glasses on when the sun is out on April 8th. Dr. Schreiber says once in totality, put the glasses back on when you notice even a sliver of sunlight start to reappear. Michael Schwartz, 7 News.